So another one here. Comes in. There it stops. Come up. While you're waiting for it to solidify, put in some more plastic. Now it's, it's, it's extremely difficult to get a top of a solid color, especially if they're a light color. Um, any darker colors seem to uh, linger inside of the, of the chamber. So I might have to make 10 tops before I get one that's solid pink. I'll have a lot of half and halves, or mostly pink, but with a uh, couple black spots in there. Because I have a really dark color that was already in there. The best thing to do is to start out with your lightest color, and then work your way to dark before you go back to light again. All right, let's go ahead and see how that one turned out. Okay, I fixed a lot of the problems. I got rid of the flashing. I turned down the pressure a little bit, made this clamp tighter, and uh, we have a, a top that looks really good. This would be an example of a top that there's a lot of stuff going wrong. All this plastic up here means it was shooting out the top of the mold, so the pressure probably was set too high. All uh, the flashing meant that the clamp probably wasn't clamped together enough or there was something in there. So yeah, this is an example of something is wrong and you need to fix it. If you don't know how to fix it, have the instructor come help you. All right, now you're probably thinking this is the easiest shop project ever. All I have to do is flip a switch once and voila, I got that. And all I have to do is pull a lever up and down a couple times and I got my tops and I'm done. And you're right, this is a very easy project to make. And uh, you probably might be thinking, well, I could, they're so easy to make, I could make a whole bunch of these and, and sell them. And uh, yeah, you probably could do that. But let's go through the process of uh, what you would have to do if you wanted to start a business. The first thing you'd have to do is buy the vacuum form machine. And this particular vacuum form machine is going to cost you about eight hundred and ninety nine dollars not including shipping and handling next is this machine which is the injection mold machine and uh... You might not believe it but this machine is two thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars next you're going to need the molds um, this particular mold was custom made uh... with uh, the art teachers help and and me um, I would say if you were to buy this, you'd be spending a lot of money, but I'll charge you $100 if you want a copy. Next is the top mold, and these molds will run you about $79. Okay. Now all these costs for the molds and the machines um, are what we would call startup costs. They're, they're costs that you only have to pay for once. So you only have to buy this machine one time. You only have to buy the mold one time. You only have to buy you know, the other mold one time. And uh, the injection molder one time. After you have all the equipment, you shouldn't have to buy it again unless it breaks down. Okay. The next uh, things you have to worry about are what we call continuous costs. And uh, that would be your raw materials. So a piece of plastic. That plastic is going to run you, um, if you buy in bulk, you can buy 65 sheets at a time. And uh, for 65 sheets, you'll be spending $93. The plastic pellets come in the big giant bag. Okay. And this would run you $99 for 50 pounds. And this bag has lasted me about five years, so it would last quite a while. Um, 
Now one top is like 0.2 ounces, so you can get quite a few tops out of one bag. I'll let you do the math to figure that out. Also you need the color. For the color, um, you're going to run about $16 for enough color to color one bag of plastic. So it's not too expensive, but it adds up after a while. Okay, let's say you don't want to sit there and make this all day long. You want to hire some employees. So you would hire one employee to run the vacuum form machine, and then you have another employee to run the injection molder. And uh, together, you know, you got to pay those guys. And each of them are going to cost you $10 an hour. So $20 an hour for your employees. And these employees can only work so fast. And uh, the one uh, making the tops, he can make 60 tops per hour. And the, uh, the one on the arena, on this machine, the thermoform machine, he can pump out about 15 per hour. Okay. So I have a lot of math for you guys to do. You have to figure out exactly how much it costs to start up your whole company. Now I'm making it easy on you. I'm not going to make you figure out rental costs for your building and electricity costs and a whole bunch of other things that uh, I could include but I'm not. Uh, but just so you can get an idea of what it's like to figure out this type of stuff, yeah, you're going to be doing some math. All right, here we go. Finished product, and here it is in action. Obviously, pink is better. Okay. If your company made nothing but battle tops and did nothing else, it would be called a continuous mass production uh, company because it continuously made the same thing over and over again. Now, if you were to invest in other molds and make other things, now you could easily go from the top mold to another mold of some other things. I have golf tee molds and this giant paperclip mold. And so, if you found customers willing to pay for these and you wanted to spend another eighty dollars to buy you know upgrades to your manufacturing company then you would be considered uh, an intermittent because you would change intermittently from battle tops back and forth between that and this okay so it'd be easy to change over All right now when we made the the specialized equipment, this mold, um, this would be considered a specialized uh, manufacturing, whoever made this, well obviously but I made this, but if you were to hire this out and have a company make this and they only had to make one, that would be more specialized. Now the drawback of going to somebody like this would be this would be extremely expensive okay but if you only wanted one let's say you wanted a battle top and you just wanted one and nobody else ever would want one and you spent a hundred dollars on this that'd be a lot better than spending thousands of dollars on all the other stuff just to make one out of plastic okay so you can see the uh, the benefits of this or drawbacks So custom or mass production. Let me show you where you can buy all the stuff for this activity. This is the catalog. It's like ASCO. So well, there you go.